the electricity used in Christchurch is best modeled by a sine curve. Now this question I've taken from the workbook. Uh, is best modeled by a sine curve. Okay, the usage re reaches the usage reaches the peak at 6:30 a.m. of 32 megawatts per hour, and the minimum at 10:30 a.m. of 30 24 megawatts per hour. So from this, uh, so let's say the maximum you got maximum and minimum. You got information of maximum and minimum. And so it's a, a fluctuating situation. So it's a it can be modeled by a sine curve. So at maximum, you're saying, well, the maximum is 630 and the maximum is 32 megawatts. And the minimum is say 1030 and that is how much? 24 megawatts. So from this information, we can write certain facts. So the first thing that we need to decide is what are we going to take the x-axis and what are we going to take on the y-axis? So the independent variable is your time. So we're going to take time. So this is your time and this is your consumption. So let's say this is C. So we're going to take T on the x-axis and C on the y-axis. Now from this, what can we write? So let us write what we what is very clear. So we have the maximum of how much? 32 and a minimum of. So if you know maximum minimum, that will help you to write the baseline. So the baseline is the average of this two. So the baseline is 32 plus 24 is 56. Half of that is 28. And the amplitude is the distance between the baseline and the maximum or minimum. So if you go from 28 to 34, you can say the amplitude is 4. Now the period is the time taken for one full cycle. So if you know the maximum is at 6.30 and the minimum is at 10.30, if you, if you draw a, a sine curve or suppose a sine curve is like this, say the distance between the maximum and the minimum is what? Is half a cycle. So 6.30 to 10.30 is four hours. So one cycle or one period is eight hours one period is eight hours. So in one day, you'll have how many cycles? So you've got one day of 24 hours, you've got three cycles or three periods. Okay, now the first question is form an equation based on the time since midnight. So I have already drawn the graph. So let's look at the graph. So so here, yeah, this is time. So this is zero hours, or you can say this is 12 midnight. This is 12 midnight. So I've gone in units of one. So this is one o'clock, this is two o'clock, this is four o'clock, and so on. So this is 6.30, this is six, this is seven, so this is 6.30. So you reach the maximum at six, so you can say this coordinate is six, point five six thirty is six point five comma thirty two. Okay, so this is minimum. So this is ten thirty. So if you want to write as a coordinate, this is ten point five comma how much? Twenty four. So you can write this the equation of this graph as a sine or a cosine curve. So we'll write this both as sine and cosine. So if you start from this point, so the, what will be this point? So you've got one full period. So I have drawn, so this is one cycle from year to year. So from year to year is one cycle. So this is a quarter cycle and this is a quarter cycle. So this is two and a half cycle. Okay. So what's the coordinate of this? So if you go, the need point will be every two and a half, every two hours. So if you go two hours, this is 6.30, so 
So if it go, this will be 430. Okay, so this coordinate is 4.5 comma, how much, 28. Okay, what is this point? This is 230, so this is 2.5. Students do confuse between 230, 2.5 from 0 hours is 230. This is 24. And let's write one more. From here, this is how much? This is from 230. If you go 2 hours to the left, this is 1230. Or this is 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5 comma 28. And you can write so on. So if you write, start from here. So let's start here. So you're starting from the baseline. A sine curl, so let me draw a sine graph. A si basic sine graph is like this. A sine graph starts at baseline and goes up. And if from baseline, if it goes down, it's a negative sine curl. Okay, now what's a cost, cost graph? Cost starts at maximum and comes back to maximum. So this is, this is positive sine. This is a positive sine graph. This is a negative sine graph. This is a positive cost graph. And so let me draw one more. So a negative cost graph is only a sketch. It will look like this. So this is a negative cost graph. OK. So this same equation we are going to write as sine and cost. So from this. From the baseline, if you're going down, it's a negative cos graph, negative sine graph, sorry. So, so let's say first we are starting at, so let's define, this is where your starting point is, starting point is 0 0.5. You're starting at 0 0.5 comma 28. So the graph C, this is your function C is dependent on x, c would be your amplitude. What's your amplitude? Amplitude is 4, and I'll put a negative because it's a negative sine graph, negative sine of 360 divided by the period. What's the period? Period is 8, x plus c, there's a phase shift, okay, plus the baseline, which is 28. So let's simplify this a little. So I can say C is equal to minus 45. So minus, not 45, minus 4 sine. This would be 45. 360 divided by 8 is 45x plus C plus C plus 28. Now to find C, you have to do two things. You have to set, you have to put x as the starting point, which is x is 0 0.5, and set this whole thing equal to 0. There are different ways people teach, but I like this way. So I'm going to do the side work like this. So first thing that you need to do is you have to set the bracket equal to 0. And then put x as 4.5. So this is 45 times 4.5. No, 0 0.5, not 4.5, sorry. Your starting point is 0 0.5. 45 times 0 0.5 plus C is equal to 0. So let's use a calculator. 45 times 45 times 0 0.5. This is 22.5. So you can say this is 22.5 plus c is equal to 0. So you can say c is equal to negative 22.5 or minus 22.5. Or if you factor out 45, you can see this will be 0 0.5. So let me show you that. So c is equal to minus 4 sine. That also explains the phase shift. 45x minus 22.5 plus 28. So to explain the phase shift, so let's factor 
So this is a bit mathematical. So this is C is equal to minus 4 sine. If you factor out 45, so this is if you factor out 45, you can write this is x minus what? x minus half or 0 0.5 plus 28. So basically what has happened, this sign graph has basically should start at the baseline, so at the origin. This has moved 0 0.5 to the right. This is 0 0.5 to the right and it has moved to the right and so that's why it is 0 0.5 here. Okay. So, or this way, or this way, this explains the phase shift. So, C, your sine curve, writing this as a sine, you can write this as this equation. So, if you start, say, from this point, it's a cos graph. So, let me quickly write. So, this is y is equal to, let me write it somewhere here. So, let me delete this. I want to, I'll use a bigger eraser. We know the facts, so we can write it faster now. I want to see this equation when I graph it, and that's why I'm re erasing this. So yeah, if you're starting at this point, so you can say y, it's a positive cos graph for maximum. It's a positive cos graph, so it's 4 cos 45x. So let me do it that. So this is 6.5, so let me do... 45 times 6.5 is 292.5 minus 292.5 plus 28. So if you factor out, so this is y is equal to 4 cos. If you factor out 45 from this bracket, so it'll be 45 times x minus what? Minus 6.5. 6.5 times 45 is 292 plus 28. So if you don't want to do this step directly, you can write 45 times x minus the phase shift, which is 6.5. So let's write both this equation. So c is equal to minus 4. No, it's plus 4 cos 45 times x minus 6 minus 6.5, sorry, plus 28. So let's type in both this equation and see what are we getting one at a time. So go to graph and type in minus 4 sine. I'll start with the bracket, 45 bracket, x minus 0 0.5, bracket, I think I have to use one more bracket, I'll try, plus 28. I've already set the scale, 0 to 24, and I've gone from 0 to 40. Yeah, here we go, so this is a graph. So, Let's go back to the graph so that we can see the graph. So we know at maximum you get at 6.5, 6 6.30. So G-Sol, mm, G-Sol and maximum. 6.5 you're getting maximum. And minimum at 10.5, G-Minimum. So 2.5 is 230. And then after 8 hours, if you press this, you get the next minimum. Okay. So the next minimum will be 8 hours. So if you add 8 hours to this, that is 10.5 plus 8 is 18.5. That is 630. So it will be 18.5. Okay, so this. So if you type in this, it will be the same graph. Let me delete this. So if you type in 4 cos bracket 45 bracket x minus 6. 0.5, close bracket, close bracket, plus 28. The same graph, G sol minimum, 230, 1030, and 630. And maximum, 
GSOL maximum is 6.30 and 8 hours will be uh, 2.30 or 14.5. 14, 14 okay, hopefully this video is helpful. So this is how you tackle this type of questions. Okay, okay, now we had to do one more question here. So here the question is, the next question is, when the consumption reaches 30 megawatts, a penalty pay payment is applied. How many hours a day do you expect power to exceed 30 megawatts? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use my calculator. So 30 hours, so let me delete this now. I don't want this now, okay. So 30 megawatts would come here. So this is 30 megawatts. So what they're saying is, how many hours of a day would there be penalty? So this is 30 megawatts. Okay, so this is one cycle. So from this, so if you can find for one cycle, you can multiply it by three, and you can find for the rest. So using, so we want to find how much is this time. So this is the time. So from year to year is where you get, yeah, so from this point to this point is where it is over 30 hours, sorry, 30 megawatts. So this is a T1 and this is T2. So T1 minus T, sorry, T2 minus T1 will give me the time in within three, within eight hours where the consumption is over 30 megawatts. So let me find this at this point and this point. So G sol X calc, I'll enter 30. So uh, I'm interested in this. So this is this is five and two third hour. This T1 is five and two third. And this is how many? Okay, this is not a neat number. Seven and okay. So what can we do? So if we do Okay, so it is over 7.88. Okay, 7.888 minus, okay, so let me find. Yeah, okay, so yeah, so let's find the minimum. So this is, there's not a neat number. Okay, so this is five and two thirds hour. Okay, so so T1, so let's find what T2, T2 is T2 minus T1. So 7.8333 minus phi and two third. Okay, so we need to tackle this. So T2 minus T1. So this is 7 point, what was this number? This is 5 and 2 thirds, 1.666 is 5.16, okay, this is a bit 5.16, so let us round this, doesn't matter, 5.17 and this is 7.83, okay, so 7.83 minus, I keep forgetting the number, and this is 5.17. So let's round it, doesn't matter. You'll get exact 5.17. So within one, so let's use a calculator. Go to run menu. So this is 7.83, 7.83. This is 2.66 hours, so times it by 3. So this is about, this is 9, 7.9, it is exactly 8 hours. So you can say within or in within 8 hours, within 8 hours, the consumption over 30 uh, megawatts is 2.66. So 2.66 or 67 and then times it by 3 because you've got three cycles within one day. So that is almost or is exactly 8 hours. 
eight hours within a day or one full cycle in other words is where the this this is this is two and one thirds okay this is one cycle so this is basically two and two thirds two and two thirds and that times it by three will give you eight hours